Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the Cucumber Concepts. So just to understand the Cucumber Concepts, we'll go through these five points and just we'll figure it out what exactly Cucumber is and how we are going to use it. So the first thing that we'll see is what is BDD. Then we'll talk about what is Cucumber and then we'll discuss a question where it says that why automation tester needs to learn Cucumber and what problems we can resolve with Cucumber. Once we are familiar with this Cucumber concepts, then we'll see how automation testing industry is using Cucumber. And at last, we'll try to see that how we can install Cucumber in Eclipse. So let's begin with the first question. So that's what are BDD frameworks? So basically BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. And this enables the software testers to completely write the test scripts in plain English language. So BDD gives us that freedom to write the test cases in a basic language that's understandable to all. So it's like in this BDD, using this BDD frameworks, we can design our own test cases. And based on that, we can write, uh, like based on the test cases, we can write the steps. So uh, basically this Cucumber use this BDD frameworks. So if we talk about Cucumber, Cucumber is an open source software testing tools written in Ruby. It provides an easy, easy, easy understandable testing scripts for system acceptables and automation testing. Now, basically, the construction of these test cases for uh, basically we use this uh, Cucumber tools, and it's mostly based on the web apps uh, functionalities and the behavior of that particular application. So, Cucumber are uh, based on the behavior of the applications. We write the test cases, and remember, the test cases are written in simple English language. And based on that, we write the steps and then we execute the complete process. Now, why do automation tester need to learn Cucumber and what problems can be resolved with Cucumber? So basically, when we go with the automation testing, we learn the first thing that we learn is Selenium. Then we come around test NG, just the frameworks of it. And then the question comes to our mind, do I need to learn Cucumber? Yes. It's a very good question. Basically, this Cucumber, uh, if you are familiar with these Seleniums and test TestNG, then this Cucumber will give you that freedom to write the test cases in more simpler way. And it's like you can execute and you can provide uh, and you can execute and write the steps in more systematic manner. So basically, Cucumber is an automation tool. And that's basically based on behavior-driven testing development frameworks which is used to write the test for a web application. Now, the need of Cucumber basically is because this uh, allows the users such as business analyst, developer, tester to automate the functionalities and is easily readable. So anyone can understand their format and they can completely, and uh, by reading the test cases, they can completely get the complete uh, execution of the program. So it's like, Cucumber makes things so simpler that just by reading the test cases, you, you get the complete overview of your application and you can understand that what exactly we are doing. So anyone from well, the one who is from technical team or non-technical team can easily perform or easily understand the Cucumber, uh, understand the test cases. Now, what type of problem basically Cucumber resolves? It basically, create a relation between the non-programmer and the programmer. That means both can communicate at the same platform with the help of Cucumber. Now it serves end-to-end -end test frameworks. That means uh, like Cucumber straight away, uh, like that means that Cucumber using Cucumber straight away, we can write the test case, design codes and reuse it. It's like once the test cases are written, we can re reuse as many tests we want. So this becomes easy for developer as well as testers to perform testing. Now the concept of writing test cases and creating codes based on, based on these test cases makes things easier. So basically that you say that you see the barrier between the developer, tester, or you can say the other team members, that's covered using this Cucumber. So it resolves that problem. It's like they bring everyone at one page. That's the best thing about Cucumber. Now, why automation testing industries is using Cucumber? Now see, it's completely the decision of the industries that which frameworks they are going with. 
It's like they are, they want to work with Cucumber or they want to work with a unit test framework. It's completely on their end. But nowadays, industry is mostly reliable on this Cucumber because of few reasons. It's like you say, this Cucumber supports multiple language. So that means you can write test cases in any language you like. You like. Basically, this is built on the Ruby language, but still you can write test cases using other languages. And this makes uh, uh, this makes things easier. And as well as the execution process on Cucumber is very fast and simple. Now, the most important point that basically, that's the most important point what I say that, that makes the industry to use this Cucumber uh, tool is that basically uh, Cucumber acts as a bridge between the following teams. That means the business analyst and software engineers, both can communicate, manual and automation tester, both can work at one place as well as manual testers and developers. So basically you see all team members comes at one place when we are working with this Cucumber tools. Now, the last point, that's the most important and the helpful thing is Selenium supports conditional statement. So basically if you see, if you work on Selenium, that is supports only conditional statement, but Cucumber does not. The test kits are written based on the requirements in Selenium, but with Cucumber, you can start with scenario first. Selenium scripts are hard to develop, whereas Cucumber are easy to develop. This is also one of the reasons why industry go for Cucumber. So basically, if you talk about, the, if I keep two tools, if I compare these two tools, then you'll find Cucumber more reliable because here you have things based on the test cases and based on that, you write, uh, basically you execute the complete process. So that makes life easier in comparison to other tools. So now this is the complete overview of Cucumber, basically why, uh, why we are using it and what supports in Cucumber, why industries are looking for it, what type of problems we are resolving with Cucumber, all of it. Now, once you are familiar with Cucumber, it's good to know the installation process of Cucumber. So just to install Cucumber in Eclipse, uh, just you need to go to the Eclipse platform, click on this help button, so once you click on this help button, you will have the options here. So just go to this option, Eclipse Marketplace, click on it. So when you click on this Eclipse Marketplace, then you will have the screen here. So in this screen, in the search bar, you have to search for Cucumber. So once you search for Cucumber, you will have the Cucumber option, and then you can click on the install button and install it. So here, let's wait for this search box to open, and then we'll search for Cucumber. Now in this search bar, you can search for Cucumber. Once this box is open, you can search for Cucumber and press enter. So when you do this, you'll have this option, Cucumber Eclipse plugin. So in my system, this Cucumber is already installed, but if Cucumber is not installed in your system, then you'll have your install button. When you click on this install button, then you will have the screens where they will ask for the acceptance process. So just you have to accept the terms and agreement and you will have some plugins to accept. Just accept those plugins. Uh, basically you will have trustworthy plugins to so accept that and then Cucumber is installed. So the installation process is very easy. This is all uh, to cover in this video. In upcoming videos, we'll talk about the syntax, the Cucumber, syntax, uh, the syntax in which we write the test cases, we'll talk about that. And also we'll discuss a few projects in our upcoming video. So just stay tuned to get uh, to watch those videos. Thank you.